What I'm going to talk about today is confidence and what confidence is relative to golf. Confidence is knowing. Now, knowing that you can do something can only happen if you've actually done it before. Now, here's the key. Golf is a boundary game. Now, a boundary game means that we're always trying to hit the ball through something. When we get to the first tee, we stand up there and we look down the fairway, no matter how well we've been practicing, and all of a sudden we have a left and a right side of the fairway. We have trees, out of bounds fences, water hazards, bunkers, rough, and we feel boundary intimidation. We may have been practicing well, but most practice fairways are wide open spaces and there might be a pin in the middle of the green that you aim at. But the other thing about when you're practicing is if you hit a poor shot, you've always got another ball there that you can roll over and hit again. So we think we're practicing well, we might get our technique perfect, but unfortunately that doesn't build confidence, which is knowing that you can hit the ball through a boundary. The first 30% of confidence comes from technique and technique only. So you can perfect your technique and even if you get really good at it and you're happy with it and you're hitting solid shots with that technique right through at the bag, when you go out in the golf course, you will only be 30% confident. The next 30%, which makes us up to about 60%, is what we call skill. What can I do with that technique? Can I hit the ball high, low, my distance control? Can I draw it? Can I fade it? Uphill shots, downhill shots. The next 30% is testing, putting that under pressure. So what I like to do is I like to, in our practice, set up cones or markers that create this boundary intimidation. So golf being a boundary game, I've got two uh, cones here, and the general rule is the 10% rule. So if you're hitting a 100 metre shot, we'd set two cones out on the fairway 10 metres apart. If you're hitting a 150 metre shot, 15 metres apart, 200 metre shot, 20 metres apart, 250. Now that actually gives you more boundary intimidation than what you'd normally feel out on the golf course. So if we get good at doing that in practice, we'll be able to take that out on the golf course. Now what you'll see down here is I've already set up some skittles and I've created, at about a 20 metre shot, I've created a box with these skittles which is two metres across, which is the 10%. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the pressure by not only just wanting to hit one shot into that box, I'm going to try and hit three in a row. So my theory's always been three in a row in practice is one in a row out in the golf course. Now you may say, well hang on, you're only up to 90% now. So I've got 30% for technique, 30% for skill, 30% for testing. The last 10% is execution in competition. So once I can take this practice success out onto the golf course and I can say to myself on my 20 metre pitch in this example, Here's a 20 metre pitch, this is just like the one I did last night and I made three in a row. I've drawn on that experience, which is the knowing, and then I've executed that in competition. Well then I've got 100% confidence. I can use that confidence cycle to develop every skill in golf. So here we go, I'll try and go through these, these three in a row. So that's one. Two. Now I'm starting to feel the pressure because this is the third one, feeling the same pressure that I feel out on the golf course. And I'm thinking that landed right on the line, so I succeeded three in a row. So now I've got some confidence from practice, boundary intimidation. Next time I've got a 20 metre pitch, I'm going to take that experience, recall it out on the golf course, execute it in competition. Now I've got tremendous.